I'm gonna show you how to use NFC tags in your smart home automations, including how to set them up, when to use them, their limitations, and how to manage their notifications. So what is an NFC tag? Well, it's basically a little chip that allows communication between two different devices that are in close proximity with each other. If you've ever paid for something using Apple Pay, then you've experienced the magic of NFC. But we're talking about smart home automations here. So for example, holding your phone over an NFC tag in order to unlock the back door and disarm the alarm when you arrive home. Really, the options are limited only by your imagination. Now, unlike a lot of smart home devices, NFC tags are super affordable. I bought this pack of 50 NFC tags on Amazon for just $12. That's only 24 cents per NFC tag. And what's really cool is that these have a sticker on the back of them. So depending upon where you wanna place it, that can be really helpful. See the link in the description. I'm using NFC tags with iPhone and the shortcuts app in iOS and also with Home Assistant. Let's begin by setting up our first NFC automation. All right, so grab your iPhone then open up the shortcuts app and then go to automations new automation and then here search for nfc click nfc i'm going to do run immediately and do not notify me when it runs now scan the nfc tag hold the phone up to an nfc tag like this it scans right away then give the the nfc tag a name I'm gonna do a garage door automation, so I'm gonna call this one garage door. I hit okay, then hit next, then new blank automation, and then add action. Here, search for home assistant, click home assistant, then click fire event. Now here where it says shortcut event, you wanna give this a new name that is specific to your automation. I'm gonna call this NFC underscore garage door. Now be sure to use underscore and not spaces in this name. Click done. Now here I'd like to get a vibration after it runs just as some kind of confirmation that it occurred. So I'm going to search for vibration, click that, and now I can hit done. And we're going to hop over to home assistant where we can finish the automation. Here, go to settings, then automations, create automation. And then for the trigger, you're gonna to wanna to do a manual event. And the event type is gonna be the name that you used in the shortcuts app. So for me, it was NFC underscore garage door, but you'll use whatever name that you gave it. Then what do I want this to do? I have to add an action. And in my case, I want to toggle a cover because I want to open and close the garage door whenever I use this. So choose the entity. There's my garage door and click save. Now I can give this a name. I will just call this automation NFC garage door and then click save. So now let's go out and test this thing out. All right, so I'm out in the car in my driveway. Let's say I just got home and I wanted to open the garage door. Well, you could put an NFC tag on the dash or anywhere in your car. And that way, when you come home, you can just take your phone, touch the NFC tag, and have it open your garage door for you. Now, the same thing works for closing the garage door with the way that I set it up. I configured it to be a toggle. So if I put my phone back over the NFC tag, it will close it. Let's go ahead and test that out. And there we can see it's closing the garage door. So that's just one of countless ways that you could use NFC tags. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some ideas for other ways to use these. All right, but when does it even make sense to use NFC tags? After all, isn't the point of home automation to automate things so you don't even have to think about it? Well, yes, but there may be certain applications where an NFC tag is just more practical or more helpful to you. One example of that is something that you don't wanna have happen 
every single time. And when you want it to happen is actually variable. So for example, maybe you arrive home and normally you want to disarm the alarm system. But maybe there are times when you arrive home only for a moment, only to turn around and leave again. Well, you may not want the alarm to disarm in that situation. Another example is for using reminders. Let's say you have a reminder to take out the trash a certain night of the week. Well, you can use an NFC tag and scan it, which will basically confirm you've completed that action so you won't get any further reminders about it. Now, what are some of the limitations of using NFC tags? Well, there are a few to keep in mind. First, if you're using NFC with iPhone like I am, you're gonna to wanna to be on iPhone XS or later. That way, it will trigger the NFC tags automatically. The other is that your iPhone has to be awake. You don't want your screen to be dark, which means it's asleep. So go ahead and tap the screen and make sure it's awake before you go ahead and use the NFC tag. The other is you gotta keep things in close proximity. When you hold your phone over the NFC tag, keep it within four centimeters. It doesn't have to be touching, but it has to be really close. Another thing to keep in mind is that you cannot place the NFC tag on a metallic surface. It just won't work. And then one final tip, if you're using iPhone, make sure you scan the NFC tag from the top of your phone. That's where it's gonna read the NFC tag. Now, if you've set up NFC tags before, you may be wondering, how do you manage their notifications? Well, in their shortcuts app, as we did, I chose to not be notified when it ran because I don't want to get notification every time this happens. But if you do, you would just toggle that on. Now, if you have added an NFC tag to Home Assistant before, you may notice that you get a notification each time you trigger an NFC automation. And if you don't want that, then you actually need to erase the NFC tag. You can do that using a free app like NFC Tools. In this case, you would just open it up, then go to Other, and then Erase Tag, and then you would just scan the tag that you want to erase. After doing that, your iOS shortcut will run without sending you that notification. So what are the automations that you use with NFC tags, or which ones would you like to see? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.